Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph here, and today we are tackling homemade yogurt. Now, you don't need to buy that stuff at the store anymore. You can make it at home. It's super easy. You just need a little bit of time and some good quality ingredients. So let's get started. The first thing we need is some wonderful milk. Now I'm using whole milk today and this is five cups, but if you wanted to make a low fat yogurt, you could certainly do that using low fat milk. You could even use non-fat milk if you would like. But if you're like me and you're looking for something that's really rich and decadent, which is something that I love when I'm eating yogurt, you could do a blend of whole milk and maybe a little bit of heavy cream too. You get something that's really rich and unctuous and delicious. So it's really up to you, kind of the milk that you use, but you need five cups of it and you need a good quality. Make sure you buy a brand that has a lot of flavor. If you can find grass-fed milk, that will be even better because you'll get a nice flavor to it. So I have this in a pretty thick sauce pot here and I have this over medium heat and I wanna bring this up to about 180 to 185 degrees. And you might be saying, why are you doing that? Isn't the milk you're using pasteurized? And yes, that's true, it is pasteurized and this is totally great, but what we're doing is we're bringing it up to this temperature to denature some of the proteins that exist in the milk and that will give us a nice silken texture to our yogurt in the end. So this is gonna heat up. If you don't have one of these, you really should invest in one. This is an instant read thermometer. There are many different brands out there on the market. This will give you a, as the name suggests, an instant read on the temperature of your milk. You can also use this for proteins like chicken and fish and beef and pork and things. We're gonna heat this up. Our milk is coming up to temperature and I've been stirring it every so often so that there's no film on the bottom of the pan. And we should be, let's see, yep, up to temperature. Now I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna allow this mixture to cool down to about 110 degrees. You really wanna make sure that you're cooling it to that temperature because that's the perfect temperature for the bacteria process to start. Anything too high will kill off all of the bacteria and you won't get that signature structure that we know and love from yogurt. We're about, there we are, 116 degrees. So this is cooling down nicely. Now, what we need to do is we now need to this is, I'm getting fancy and technical here. We need to inoculate this with some live culture so that we can begin to form yogurt. What you need to do is take a quarter of a cup of yogurt. Now for my first batch, I'm using store-bought yogurt, but over time, what you're gonna do is you're gonna save at least a quarter of a cup of yogurt so that you can make your next batch. It's one of these things that you keep building upon. I'm gonna add this right to my glass bowl here. And then to this yogurt, I'm going to add the warmed milk. 110 degrees is really the perfect temperature for bacterial growth. And that's really what we want to happen here. We want to take all of those live cultures, bacteria also known as live cultures, and we want them to start working. And 110 is really great. It will form yogurt very quickly. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to store this yogurt or this mixture that will become yogurt in a warm spot around 90 to 100 degrees. Sometimes I like to put it in my oven, just an off oven overnight, and it will form a really nice structure, a really delicate texture in terms of yogurt. And it's a nice, easy thing to do for the next day. Stream in your milk, give it a good whisk, make sure that everything is combined nicely. Add the rest here. Okay. And now take a piece of plastic wrap and just place it over the top of your bowl. And what you can do, just so there's a tiny bit of um, airflow, is just poke some holes into the plastic wrap and this goes into a warm spot. Like I said before, guys, it's gonna take quite a bit of time. So put it into the oven. I think that's a great place. Obviously you want the oven to be off. Do not turn it on, um, but you're looking for around 90 degrees and this will take up to overnight to form a nice textured yogurt. So after your yogurt has been in that nice warm spot for about five to eight hours, uh, you wanna transfer it to the refrigerator until it's really chilled. And that's what I have here. And 
When you do have your chilled yogurt like this, you want to make sure that you store it in the way. So this is going to have separated. You'll see if I can just, it's so rich and creamy, but there's a lot of um, kind of water, which is whey, um, and that's going to keep the yogurt texture nice and smooth and silken. Now, I'm just gonna put this in my bowl here. If you wanted something that um, had more texture to it, something more similar, I would say, to Greek yogurt, you could take this and actually strain it in a little bit of cheesecloth and you'd get something that's really rich in texture. But I love yogurt just like this. Now, if you wanted this to be a little thinner, all you have to do is stir it and it will thin out to kind of what you know and, and love from the grocery store. And you can certainly enjoy this as is, but you could also doctor it up with a little bit of berries. You can put some maple syrup, granola. I actually love eating yogurt in a savory way. I like to put olive oil, salt and pepper, and maybe some cucumbers or um, some spices on top of it. That's just my preference. But there you go, guys. Making yogurt at home, it's not difficult at all. It might be a little time consuming, but really, in the end, you have something that's a real treat for you and your family. You know exactly what's in it, and it's good for you. And if you have any kitchen conundrums, please reach out to us using the hashtag kitchen conundrums. Love to hear from you guys, and enjoy your yogurt. And as always, guys, click like and subscribe.